Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumed channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Demitech N95 respirator. These respirators are made in the US. Let's go ahead and look at the Amazon listing before we try them on. These are the Demitech N95 respirators. They come in a box of 20. They do have a 4.4 out of 5 rating with 1,794 reviews. The cost is $65, making them $3.25 each, which is on the pricier side. Let's go ahead and take a look at these respirators. This is how it looks. It is a bifold style. It does come with all of the N95 requirements. These aren't the best quality respirators in terms of construction, material texture, as they do feel very papery and rough. The material from the inside is not that soft, but it does come with a nose foam. This is a four ribbed elastic headband. They do tend to be less comfortable than other headbands, but we're gonna see how it feels when I put it on. So that one came off pretty easily. Let me go ahead and get another one and try it on. So let's go ahead and try this one on. I'm going to place it here. So now I am adjusting the nose wire to get a better seal. There is quite a bit of collapse. As I mentioned, they are a very thin ma material, but they're not the most breathable. It does fit pretty good on my face. The size on the listing says that they're an ad they're a adult size, but I would say that this is more of a small to medium. So I don't know if you guys ever felt this before, but sometimes there's certain materials that is itchy and you know that you're gonna get irritated. That is how I feel on this side of my face because of the headband. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how they test on our TSI machine. We're gonna be testing both the filtration and the breathability. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run the tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate. We make sure that the respirator is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask or respirator is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.12% filtration efficiency with a pressure drop of 22.1. This is a bit high, but it's still within the NIOSH requirements. The second sample had a filtration percent of 99.21 with a pressure drop of 23.2. The last sample filtrations percentage was 99.16 and had a pressure drop of 25.9. We were having some issues with the focusing of this camera, so I added the results on the side of the screen. So we're back now, and as you guys saw, all the samples that we tested passed the filtration portion, but let's talk about the pressure drop. Per the NIOSH requirements, the respirator should not exceed 35 millimeters of water in regards to inhalation, which is what our TSI machine conducts. And although these respirators are under the requirement, they have been the highest pressure drop that we've tested so far. And in our opinion, higher performance respirators should be between 10 or 12 or under. And I did personally struggle a lot with the breathability. To sum up this review, the construction quality was okay. We have definitely seen better in 95s. And as I mentioned, whenever I had it on, it wasn't the most comfortable respirator. I really hope that you guys find this video helpful. Please let us know what mask we should test next or what other content you would like to see on our channel in the comment section below below. We also have a lot of important information in our description box, like our website, which is acumen.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.